House approved higher tax on liquor, e hyphen cigarettes. The House of Representatives on Wednesday evening approved on second reading a bill that would raise the excise on alcoholic drinks effective January 1, 2020, as well as on regular and electronic cigarettes. Without the usual lengthy deliberation, lawmakers approved a substitute bill that amended House Bill No. 1026, the original measure that the House Ways and Means Committee passed the previous day to raise the sin tax on alcoholic products. They also passed HB 313, formerly known as Trabajo Bill but has been renamed as the Corporate Income Tax and Incentive Rationalization Act, CIDRA, which would remove tax incentives for large companies while lowering corporate income taxes. Speaking to reporters on Thursday, as they read, Joey Falcida, chair of the House Ways and Means Committee, expressed hope that the two measures would help promote growth and achieve the economic and social programs of the Duterte administration and beyond. Deliberation 60 said the House did deliberations because it adopted the version of the bill that was approved by the chamber in the 17th Congress but was not enacted into law as it did not get past the Senate. The House adopted the subsidy bill, which was formulated after the Committee on Rules inserted the amendments made by the chamber's members in the plenary. There, it was them, I guess in the use of the plenary or what I call the superior powers of the Committee on Rules to essentially come up with a bill in substitution to the committee report, Salcida said. A priority tax measure mentioned by President Duterte in his State of the Nation address to a joint session of Congress in July, the bill would amend portions of the National Internal Revenue Code. Liquor, tobacco tax physics, would impose a P35 tax per liter on distilled spirits and a 22 hyphen percent as a lorem tax based on toxicity starting 2020. The bill would slap on these products an additional 7 hyphen percent specific tax per liter yearly in the succeeding years. It would also impose 15 hyphen percent as a lorem tax on sparkling wine or champagne next year and a specific tax of P696 per liter. Similarly, this will be increased by 7% every year thereafter. The new tax measure would also impose a tax of P45 for every 20, hyphen 6 tax or less of cigarettes, which would increase by P5 every year until 2023, and by 5% yearly starting 2024. It would also impose a tax of P35 per milliliter of nicotine salt for a fraction on E hyphen cigarettes, which is classified as vapor products. The tax will increase by 5% every year after 2020. Conventional free base or classic, nicotine would be taxed P4.50 per milliliter or a fraction, which would be increased by P0.50 every year until 2023, after which it would be raised by 5% every year. This will generate around P17 billion for the government, Salcida said. Obviously for left square graphic department of finance or the OX, officials write square graphics, they are not satisfied, but we told them that if they wanted more, they would have to spend more time in the house, he said. While lawmakers want to impose a higher rate, he said, the house is bound by its rules that it cannot significantly deviate from the previous version that it intended to adopt as a refiled measure. Short by P16 billion the expected revenue is short by P16 billion, but Salcida said the DOF to push for more in the Senate. Our main concern left square bracket in proposing the tax measure right square bracket is sufficient funding for the universal health care left square bracket program right square bracket, but this is just the beginning, and we can always go back to a higher rate in the Senate, said Finance Under Secretary Carl Kendrick Schuel. In a separate press briefing, minority lawmakers rejected the newly passed tax bills. These bills are the patently core its sequel to the grossly anti-core and aggressive train one, tax reform for acceleration and inclusion, in line with the International Monetary Fund World Bank prescription of the broad-based tax reform, by a mean and rep. Carlos Isabanizarate said. Citra, also known as train two cuts the corporate income tax rate from 30% to 20% over 10 years and rationalizes fiscal incentives for foreign and local businesses. Increased revenues from increased indirect taxes under train win are actually meant to ensure 
funds to offset the losses arising from reduced corporate income taxes under Train 2, estimated at around T52 billion per 2, hyphen percentage point cut, he said. Considerate cuts to post are rates announced considerate proponents are using the micro, small and medium industries, and even late, as cover to justify a uniform 20, hyphen percent tax rate. In reality, the big industry players will be the big winners under the scheme. A, 10, hyphen percentage point tax cut on the multi-billion peso revenue of large enterprises is certainly several times bigger than the 10, hyphen percentage point tax cut on the revenue of smaller firms, he said. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.